Ukraine's women on the front line and at the back of the army. Another test for Ukraine's democratic future? What are the issues that Ukrainian women who decided to join the army face more than a year into Europe's largest war since 1945? And what are the solutions from Ukraine in this case? Hello and welcome. This is the Solution from Ukraine podcast, which is brought to you by the Rubrica Media Outlet. My name is Vladislav Faraponov. I'm the co-host of this podcast and also an analyst at Internews Ukraine, a Ukrainian media NGO. And I'm happy to be joined by my colleague Anastasia Rudenko, who is editor-in-chief of the independent all-Ukrainian Rubrica Media Outlet. And before we start, let me remind you that you can support us at Patreon at patreon.com slash rubrica. So hello, Nastya, and um, and welcome to our podcast again. So tell us basically what is the state of affairs right now in terms of the impact of uh, a women uh, who serve um, uh, in in Ukraine's army in terms of um, the impact, uh, like to what uh, the battlefield uh, needs and capabilities. Honestly, women are essential part of Ukrainian defense. There are 50,000 women serve in the army today. So, and in total, it, it can be summarized that uh, for now, Ukraine's army consists of uh, around 750,000 soldiers. Absolutely. But more importantly, over the past five years, the number of women in the Ukrainian army has almost doubled to 40,000 of which more than uh, 5,000 are on the front lines directly, and 7,000 joined the armed forces when the Russian invasion began. Today, women in in the Ukrainian army fight as gunners, tankers, scouts and snipers. Uh, Previously, all these specialties were only the prerogative of men. Moreover, recently women have not been allowed to hold high and top positions in the army. However, in some places I can say that women still face stereotypes, devaluation, sexism and prejudice. Uh, Vlad, uh, which problems are the most crucial, crucial generally? I would uh, just like to add that uh, for now in uh, Ukraine's legislation, for example, uh, actually women are... Mm, are not obliged uh, to serve in the army, even those um, uh, who are doctors, uh, even who... Yes, these are exceptions. Yes, yes. And um, for now, it, it has been decided that only after 2026, uh, uh, they will be uh, basically conscript uh, as uh, as men right now. So, and speaking about problems, uh, of course, uh, it can be assume that uh, uh, there are some general issues that the Ukrainian army face. It is uh, b- basically, for example, that uh, Western weapons are coming slow, Ukraine's, uh, Ukraine's reserves in terms of ammunition yeah, and people. There are, are not main so... problems for women, men, yeah, both. Yeah. But if you're talking about the specifics in terms of women, uh, uh, like uh, a topic that has been on on the news recently, and also we can say um, like for the past year as well, is the issue of uh, of having a, a specially designed uniform for for women who are serving in the army, and and of course for those who who will be joining the army in the future. But we found the solution and we will report about solution today. Yeah, so uh, at first we have to imagine that more more women serve in the Ukrainian armed forces today than in some NATO countries. But Ukraine still doesn't have uh, a specially designed uniform uh, as for today. The major problem is that uniforms were designed for men and alternatives for, for women simply did not exist. Yeah, so it, it would be wise to assume that uh, all women joining the military were given male uniforms, which 
obviously cause some, some some discomfort, inconveniences, and uh, also in terms of equality, it, uh, it can be assumed that uh, it caused a feeling of unfairness. Yes, they also say that uniforms that don't fit properly can disadvantage a soldier, like an oversized coat will gather in the folds and won't efficiently keep a soldier warm in cold weather like now pants that are oversized with hand low exposing the wearer to more heat loss yes and it is a serious problem especially during the winter time and we can say the largest winter in ukraine's modern history and uh, and speaking about weather uh, for example like as we're making this podcast uh, uh, it is uh, again uh, There is a lot of snow in Ukraine, so uh, basically, despite having some uh, really warm days as of, as of February, like uh, we can also say that uh, the weather basically does not help uh, in that regard, of course. So tell us, Nastya, basically, what has been done to solve this issue? So what is the solution? Yeah, there, there is an Ukrainian NGO that helps deal with this matter. Armed Women Now is the social initiative founded by one Ukrainian woman, Irina Nikurak, a member of Kyiv City Council. And the goal of the project is to combat the unequal treatment of female military personnel in Ukraine by providing them with proper military uniform. Currently, Only men's uniform are prescribed and approved by the statute of the armed forces of Ukraine, leaving women without their own uniform. And uh, as uh, fo- founder uh, of this initiative explains, uh, ammunition, comfortable and functional, uh, is the, of course, basic need uh, of every soldier, male or female. And this initiative, our woman now aims to change that forever. And how does uh, that uh, problem uh, really affect their effectiveness on the battlefield? Uh, basically, what they tell? Well, this lack of proper uniform for female soldiers in Ukraine has a significant impact on their morale and well-being. Our women now recognizes the importance of providing female soldiers with the same level of comfort and functionality as their male counterparts to help them perform their duties effectively. And the initiative faces a number of challenges in achieving this goal, including navigating the legal framework and regulations related to military uniform in Ukraine. However, our women now has made significant progress toward its objectives, providing female soldiers with customized uniforms that meet their needs and requirements. Yeah, so so they also say that equal treatment of uh, female military uh, in in matters of uniform is um, also info- important uh, uh, not just uh, symbolically for the MRL as uh, as Nancy, uh, just only. mentioned yeah. and well being, but also it impacts uh, the success of um, of military operations. But it, it is also important that generally. Uh, diversity and inclusion are key components of effective military strategy. And we should also not forget that uh, a great many of uh, foreign soldiers are serving in the army as volunteers. And uh, uh, we can also assume that uh, like an equal treatment for, for women is also important uh, in terms of um, actual spreading the 
the word about Ukraine's army internationally. By the way, what uh, what is the situation in other countries? Yeah, so like there are some examples uh, that uh, that countries uh, uh, have demonstrated, and um, for example, like it is important to understand that uh, those uh, those closing, uh, as um, as we have just mentioned. Uh, uh, about the organization uh, they made uh, like um, uh, this design uh, in reference uh, to um, uh, some some countries especially the united states and considering uh, also nato standards we also know that in some countries uh, uh, there was a similar problem uh, which uh, basically was not uh, resolved for a great many years and including including the united states but it is important to understand that the new prototype that uh, uh, arm our women uh, now offered is different from the american one in many ways for example its color um, in is similar for both uh, actual female and male uniforms so that they do not differ greatly even in appearance and uh, it has some special features it has additional pockets for knee pads and armrests for example uh, and uh, there are buttons uh, for example uh, uh, simply because uh, they are easier to sew if they break off and uh, some special uh, requests of uh, ukraine's army uh, have been also taken ac- into account uh, Uh, considering their experience uh, on the front line. Yeah, it is important to mention that the uniform uh, had been designed only for women. Yes, yeah, so and uh, and uh, as I have just mentioned, uh, they have been uh, creating this um, this uh, design uh, using tactical uh, clothing from the U.S. Army uh, as a basis, but also basically just to have a real view actually from the ground i would like to mention a ukrainian girl uh, her name is anastasia blishik and for me she's uh, she's like a hero of this war and and especially a hero of the last year her boyfriend used to work at the tv station as a war correspondent and uh, the reason perhaps why i am taking the, uh, it it's in some way personally is that uh, i have been invited to this particular tv station a great many times but i didn't know him personally and on the very first day of the war so more than a year ago he joined the army as a volunteer and he was um, in the kharkiv uh, region in the eastern ukraine which was uh, which was basically very important and it was uh, exactly on the front line Basically, being all, um, actually already in the army, he proposed to Anastasia, but Russians killed him in early May last year. And the reason I'm calling Anastasia a hero is that after such a terrible loss, she decided to, to join the army herself. And in, in one of her interviews, as, um, as she was um, also a journalist, uh, basically before the war, She recalled her surprise when she realized that uh, there was no uniform uh, for for women and it was probably one of the first experiences that she that she had uh, after joining the army. But I know that uh, even some NATO countries still do not have military uniforms for women. Yes. Uh, like France's military issues unisex clothing that has latches to be adjusted to the wearer's needs. The US Army has had female service members since 1948, uh, but did not develop a uniform design for women until 2011. But again, uh, about our case, uh, how was the women in the military, in the, in the Ukrainian army, responding to the new uniform? The founder of the organization, uh, as we mentioned, uh, Irina Nikoriak, she says that uh, when they made the first bunch of, of 300 uh, sets and uh, 
and send them to the front. Uh, uh, they already had thousands of requests from service members who write to the group on social networks or even appealed to them uh, on behalf of the entire unit. So uh, it can be said that like uh, this initiative uh, is really in great demand. Uh, and, um, and before the new year, they completed uh, uh, some requests for three large units and providing uniforms, a set of, um, a set of regular and uh, thermal underwear and warm winter clothing uh, items up to 2,000 uh, women who serve on the front line. But uh, let's talk more about about what other features um, have been incorporated. Indeed, I want to say that our women now took into account the peculiarities of the female body when creating uniforms for Ukrainian women soldiers. For example, um, women's uh, pants are no different from the men's on the outside, but require a different cut and a much higher fit because women's waists are anatomically higher than men's, requiring the pants to be wider in the hips. And I would just like to add that uh, basically one may ask, uh, for example, how much does uh, a uniform cost? So the funds from uh, from this uh, from these uniforms are collected uh, at charity events, and and also sometimes organizations uh, they also donate uh, some some fabric material. Uh, for example, um, a Ukrainian woman in Glasgow, in Scotland, uh, uh, she provided uh, this organization, Arm, uh, Arm Women Now, with uh, two tons of, of materials, basically, free of charge. And also some, some volunteers, they delivered in, uh, uh, it to the production facility for free. So, like... Uh, we we can also say that uh, actually many volunteers are eager to help in that regard too. Yeah, I can say that there is another case of great some organization and willing of Ukrainians to, to help the army, to help uh, their defenders. But in that case, I have another logical question. Will that become a standard procedure? As for late uh, 2022, Ukraine's, uh, Ukraine's Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov, uh, he noted that um, the introduction of a separate type of, uh, of high toe boots for female military uh, would begin uh, actually very soon. And the same applies to, to body armor, uh, taking into account... Uh, those physical those physical peculiarities that uh, that we have uh, been just uh, discussing and um, also ukrainian manufacturers have developed a sample of uh, of a bulletproof uh, vest that um, redistributes uh, this this weight in a way that is comfortable uh, for for female for a female too and after completing the cycle of tests according to the established procedures, it will go to the front, but it is for now it is not clear actually when exactly. Yeah, and in, in that regard, it is important to note that military uniforms for women will become official after the decision to update its uniform standards. When it does so, our women now hopes that their work will have paid off. In November 2022, recently, the organization submitted over 300 sets of uniforms and tactical underwear to the armed forces for testing. After consulting with the military about their recommendations and wishes, it may be necessary to revise the existing design, but when a final design is approved, it will be printed with an official seal from the Ministry of Defense, and I am keeping fingers crossed that uh, this social initiative will become a great success story. Uh, yes, and and uh, basically more importantly in, in that regard is that uh, this uh, 
civic initiative uh, um, it will it will help uh, the ukrainian uh, defense ministry introduce uh, those uh, those procedures and in fact uh, the uniform in that view uh, it, it is also interesting that uh, in um, the modern ukraine language uh, uh we also use uh, some uh, uh, some words uh, that can be uh, uh like like both actual female and 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 male and for example ukraine's president uh, in every of his uh, of, of his video addresses since since day one uh he he addressed uh, ukraine's army like zakhisniki uh, which is for 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 male and uh, the khisnitsi for for female so in my view it is also a sign of uh, of changing the attitude uh, toward uh, uh toward giving um, actual female uh, a great respect yeah, in the army yeah treating too. equally yeah absolutely Stay with us, uh, you can support us at Patreon, it will help us produce more independent uh, podcasting and reporting, which will result in more help to Ukraine uh, win this hard but important war. And as we noted uh, from the very beginning, half of the collected funds will transfer to such initiatives, uh, for example, that we have described today.